This is what's left in my bathtub. Ew. Hi, my name is Haley Sprinkle and I work for Wirecutter. And yes, I'm in my bathroom. And yes, my clothes are in my bathtub. Laundry stripping has been trending for a solid year now, most importantly on TikTok with over 140 million views and counting. I guess watching gross stuff fill up your bathtub really scratches that visual itch, huh? What laundry stripping intends to do is remove any excess laundry detergent, fabric softener, body oils, or even hard water minerals that have built up in your clothes over time. But does that mean that it works? Before I filled up my own bathtub, I wanted to chat with our in-house experts to understand understand their take on laundry stripping. Hey. Hi. Hi Haley. Hey everybody. Hey. It's this really gross, fascinating project that people are doing where they take their laundry and it could be anything. Basically the point is to get out whatever your washer isn't getting out for you. How do you strip your laundry? This process involves filling up your bathtub with enough hot water to completely cover your clothes, pouring in a mixture of half a cup of borax, half a cup of washing soda, and a small amount of laundry detergent. Then you make sure everything is properly mixed up and let your laundry sit for four hours. Once the time is up, you want to wring out your clothes well and then run them through a normal wash and dry cycle in your washer and dryer. So Liam, I'm really trying to figure out if this is the right thing I should do for my clothes. And I figured you'd be our resident expert on that. So can you tell me a little bit about your title and what you do at Wirecutter? Yeah, I'm a senior writer at Wirecutter. I write almost entirely about appliances, but I know something about laundry, so I can try to help. I wanted to know from you, Liam, if you thought that laundry stripping was bad for your clothes. Laundry is like incredibly complex. The different fabrics react with the different ingredients and the different detergents and the additives that you use. So I think there is a possibility that it could damage certain kinds of clothes, but it's probably fine most of the time. I think another possible reason people feel like they might have to do laundry stripping is because they use too much detergent and the residue gets left over on the clothes. When I've talked to washing machine manufacturers, biggest dose a lot of them recommend is two tablespoons of HE detergent, high efficiency detergent. If it feels kind of crunchy or if it makes you kind of itchy or it's just like generally stiff and just doesn't feel good to wear, it's dirty because you're using too much detergent. Most of the research and like reporting I've done on it points toward that as being the culprit for a lot of like bad feeling laundry. Fabric softener, I think that's actually one of the main culprits. That is basically like adding a coating to your clothes. If there's anything that's not rinsed out completely, it's just trapped. So Sarah, tell me what you do for wire cutter. Yeah, I'm a staff writer on appliances. Do you recommend always using the least amount of detergent? Use less detergent, always. Just use two tablespoons. If you're hand washing, use a lot less. It'll go a long way. Some detergent manufacturers, they're gonna lie on the label, but remember they're selling a product and they want you to buy more of it. There's actually a really good photo in the laundry detergent guide that compares how much Kirkland tells you to use versus how much like Priscilla or Tide wants you to use. It's a huge difference. Not all detergents are created equal for sure, but most of them will get the job done, which public note, do not buy Tide in the yellow bottle. This laundry stripping, do you think that it would be beneficial? I'd say go for it if you're gonna have fun with it. I have a feeling you're not gonna notice like your towels being softer. You're just gonna note how disgusting you are, which is fine, <laughs> cause we all are. <laughs> Jackie. Hi. Can you tell me what you do for wire cutter? Yeah, I'm Jackie Reeve. I'm a senior staff writer on the um, home goods team. And so I am our resident textile tester. I test bedding, sheets, towels, all that good stuff. This laundry stripping, do you think that it would be beneficial? It doesn't feel necessary to me, but if it makes people feel better about what they're, you know, wearing, and if they don't mind the fact that it might shorten its lifespan, I mean, what happens between you and your laundry is between you and your laundry, you know? So it's not, it's not for me to say. I would also say when you get stuff and it's new, wash it 
right away. For bedding at least, and I'm this is probably true for a lot of clothes, all bedding, towels, they come with finishes on them when they're brand new out of the package to make them feel really smooth and soft or like for a towel to make it feel really soft and dense and look very lustrous. And so if you wash those things when they're new rather than using them right away, you know, if you have finishes on something and then you put those sheets on your bed and sleep on them, you're adding your skin cells and any oils on top of these finishes and conditioners that are already in these products. It's just like an extra layer of buildup that over time, you know, if it doesn't get addressed right away, it could add up. Maybe I didn't really see a difference in my clothes after laundry stripping. Just regular detergent and warm or cold water should get your clothes clean just fine. But if you want to add laundry stripping to your routine, that's A-OK -okay too. All of our experts seem to think that if it's making you feel more comfortable in your clothes, go for it. Laundry is personal. What you wear and how you feel in your clothes is very important to you. If it works for you, then it works works for you. Thanks for watching our video on laundry stripping. Don't forget to check out our other videos and be sure to like and subscribe.